Hello YouTube, uh, just back again. I haven't done a video that wasn't a dash cam in a while, so I'm um, driving here along and I wanted to show you all a technique that I picked up and I'm sure maybe there's some other people that know about this and they use it a lot with their Chevy Volt, whether it's the first gen or second gen, uh, or some both, and I've been using it for a while to kind of boost up uh, my electrical miles. Of course, using the gas to do it, but uh, it gives me a little more range than normal. So as you see here, I'm in 64, I'm in hold mode. I'm gonna switch off into normal as I decelerate and I put it in low in order to gain some regen. And I'm at 64 miles. As you see, I'm regening, regening, regening. Now, before I take off and pull off at this uh, stoplight here, I'm gonna put it back in the hold mode and hold whatever charge I just gained. And I take off. It sometimes changes here and there. Um, it takes a few times, depending on the, ingre, uh, the, the hill um, grade that you're going down, if you're gonna get any um, actual region back or how hard you were decelerating and um, using the uh, regenerative braking and the regenerative um, braking paddle on the steering wheel for the second generation volt but you can gain I, I started out with like 59 miles of electricity electrical uh, EV miles and now I have 64 and I was trying to see if I could get it to change and show like 65 and then continue to bump up as I uh, gain more so I'm putting it in normal mode here still in L mode you can see still L and I'm still attempting to gain some Region back here as it slows down. Go back into hold mode as I begin to accelerate again without using any of the electri electrical uh, EV range. So I'll do another video. I'll follow up with this one. I have a better a grade and show you exactly the change in the electrical miles as it goes up. I'm trying to get to 70. So we'll see if we can do this uh, 70 miles of EV range using the um, whole mode to normal mode region electrical buildup. All right, just as a quick update. Um, you see this now, I'm at 68 miles of electric. And let's check out the gas balance here. Let's see what we're doing energy wise here. Bad footage here. 39.5 miles per gallon on this uh, spirit glare. So it's not bad as far as the uh, gas mileage goes. Getting 40 EP, uh, MPGE and lifetime 69.4. Okay, so this is a much better time to record. I'm at 71, which I'm surprised it went past 70, honestly. Um, my old volt. As I had the 2015, we can go past 60. I could not get it past 60. And this one was 71. You see the uh, actual, since the last full charge, this is this morning. Uh, still at 39.5, using the hold mode. I need to gain an extra, let's see, uh, 11 miles of range. Uh, it's been remarkable, actually. I'm really surprised. Um, at 71 miles of EV range right now that I'm able to gain just by utilizing regen, this is really good. So I'm gonna see how much further I can get. I'll keep um, going along here and testing out the system and see what I can get to. Back to whole mode as I accelerate. Okay, so I'm back again. And as you can see, I have up to 82 miles of EV range. Um, <laughs> I'm still amazed um, of exactly what this car has been able to do as far as range using the um, regen properties of the vehicle. I'm still getting 39 uh, miles per gallon. I've used 71 miles today, and uh, I use 1.85 gallons. And um, lifetime is at 68 and 39.5 combined. So I'm gonna see how far, so far I had it at 84, and then I just missed it a few times, the uh, actual going back in the hold mode. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get up past 84 and I will make another video to update that. So as you see I'm at 78 miles of electrical range. Um, I've been doing the regen 
using hold mode and normal mode back and forth at stop lights and, and hills and I've been able to get past the I think I was at 60 miles when I first started and now I'm at 78 so that's 18 more miles over and what I was able to charge with a uh, standard charging port um, charging it as we normally would I've been able to use a region to get it up to 78 miles and I'll see how much further I can get it so stand by for another update Alright YouTube, hopefully there's not so much wind noise here, but um, I am back up to 84 again, holding at 84, and I'm trying to see if I can get past 84 miles of EV range. Uh, I'll, this is the first time I hit it. Hey YouTube, like I said, this is the uh, second time I hit 84 miles of range, as you can see, um, still in hold mode. Still in that same charge, and I'll be using up this 84 miles real soon. It's gonna be like a 50 50 split here, I guess. I used 81 miles today on gas and 1.8 miles on electric so far today. So we'll see what happens uh, if I can get it up to 85 or pass it. It seemed like 84 is the max, um, so that's pretty good. That's 31 miles over the um, sticker listed as max EV or um, expected range of 53 and we get 84 so we'll see what happens. Alright YouTube so I really didn't think it was possible but I was able to get it past 85. I, was, I had a hard time getting it past 83, 84 but it just popped 85 so I'll continue to keep an eye on this and see if I can get it um, any further or how much further I can get it. Uh, I know this is technically like a waste of gasoline. I mean, I'm not really on a long trip where I would need to do this. I'm just kind of driving around town, which I should be doing all electric for the most part. But I'm um, testing the water to see just how far I can push the battery pack here as far as how much energy it allows you to push into it. I know that Generation 1 maxed out at 60 uh, miles of range, and I could never get it past 60. And now uh, Generation 2 here is at 85. So. Uh, continue to keep pushing my little method here and see if I can get it any higher. Well, YouTube looks like we're going to end off at about 87 uh, miles of each TV range. Uh, fortunately, I have time to work and uh, I'll have to maybe try this experiment another day on a longer journey uh, with more hills or something like that sort because I ran out of road pretty much trying to spend as much. EV range at a battery pack as possible. Uh, 87 was top out. Uh, and here's some of the numbers here as far as sure some numbers got out there. It wants to crunch the numbers to see just how inefficient this is, which I know it is. It was just to see how far I can push the um, T shaped bolt battery. In 1,000 feet, turn right. Up to be my uh, navigation. But you see how far I can push it. So, here it is, and um, I'll come back and um, try to experiment another day, and I'll have more tips and tricks for Chevy Bolt owners uh, coming soon. I will say I did have fun uh, with this little experiment here. Um, let it go ahead and get a full charge now, but I'd like to take it out for a full day and see just how much I could get out of that battery.